It's much too nice out to stay indoors today, so I headed over to the local wine store and I'm going to be browsing the aisles looking for some wine recommendations. Unfortunately, the store was quite noisy and not conducive to filming, so I took pictures of my selections and I'll be delivering my notes from my usual location. We're going to start things off in the Southern Rhone region of France with the Saint-Combe Côte de Rhone. This wine sells for only $16 if you take advantage of the Mix 6 discount. This historic producer is located in Gigondas and has 15 hectares of estate vines, but they also source fruit as a negotiant. This wine comes from fruit that they source. Interestingly, while most Côte de Rhone is Grenache based, this one is 100% Syrah, which is one of the reasons that I like it so well. This is an excellent wine that offers consistent quality for a compelling price year in and year out. You really can't go wrong with this choice. But if you want to level up a bit and try a higher quality wine from this same producer, you can try the Saint-Combe Gigondas. This is a highly regarded GSM blend that comes from estate-grown fruit from 60-year-old vines. This wine is 70% Grenache, 15% Mourved, 14% Syrah, and 1% Cinso. This is one that's definitely very age-worthy and that you can put away in your cellar and enjoy it over 15 to 20 years, or you can enjoy it young with a healthy decant and some food. The next wine store recommendation comes from one of my Spanish producers. This historic producer was founded way back in 1852. Specifically, we're talking about the 2016 Marquez de Murrieta Rioja Reserva. This wine sells for about $25 or so if you take advantage of the discount. All this producer's wines come from fruit grown on its 300 hectares of estate vines that are located near Logroño. This wine is 87% Tempranillo, 6% Graciano, 5% Mazuelo, Mazuelo is also known as Carignan, and 2% Garnacha. This highly acclaimed wine already has a little bit of age on it, so it's one that you can definitely enjoy right away, but it will certainly age in your cellar and continue to improve for another 5 to 10 years without any trouble at all. The next wine store recommendation is the 2018 Ranieri Chianti Classico Gran Selezione. This wine can be purchased for around $33 with a discount, which is certainly an excellent price for a Gran Selezione. This wine comes from organic fruit that was grown in an estate-owned vineyard, and as a Gran Selezione, it must have aged at least 30 months before it was released. This is a highly regarded wine from a quality producer. 2018 was an excellent vintage, although it was a little bit cooler than some of the other vintages such as 2015 and 2016. The result is wines that have a little bit more freshness and elegance, which I tend to appreciate. So this is definitely one well worth considering if you're a Sangiovese fan. If you're looking for a white wine, you definitely want to consider the Trimbach Pinot Blanc, which can be purchased for as little as $16 with a discount. Trimbach is a historic family-owned producer that's been making excellent wine in Alsace for almost 400 years. This is a dry white wine that's consistent in quality every year and also available for a very affordable price. This wine pairs extremely well with salads, white meat, and seafood. So if you're looking for a pairing for one of those items, definitely give this one some thought. Of course, you know that I spent some time in the Bordeaux Isle, and while I was there, I found the 2016 Lillian Ledouy for as little as $35.99 if you take advantage of the discount. Lillian Ledouy is based in saint Estef on Bordeaux's left bank, this producer has about 80 hectares of vineyards. They've been making some excellent wine, at least for the 2014 through the 2020 vintages. So this 2016 vintage is well worth seeking out. The 2016 Lily and Ledouy is 62% Merlot, which is a very, very high percentage for a left bank wine. There's also 32% Cabernet Sauvignon and 6% Petit Verdot. Due to the high percentage of Merlot, this one is one that you can drink on the younger side, but it certainly will age for a little while as well. Fans of Leo Villascas will be interested in this next wine store recommendation, namely Le Petit Lyon, which is the second wine of Leo Villascas. Leo Villascas began producing this wine in 2007 after they had replanted some of the plots that used to go into the top wine. In addition to these younger vines, Le Petit Lyon includes a substantial Merlot component. This is another wine that's able to be enjoyed young, and in fact, you should definitely make sure that you consume it before 10 to 15 years after release, as it's not one that's going to age for a long time in the cellar. If you take advantage of the discount, you can buy this wine for as little as $80.99, which is certainly a small fraction of the price of the top wine from Leoville Lascaz. 
I'm a big fan of Italian white wines, and one of them that I very much enjoy is Greco di Tufo. So my next wine store recommendation is the 2019 Donna Chiera Greco di Tufo. This wine can be purchased for less than $19 if you take advantage of the discount. Greco di Tufo comes from Campania in Italy. This highly regarded wine features a tropical fruit profile, but also has substantial minerality and abundant acidity. This is an excellent white wine, especially for this price point. If you're interested in wine recommendations, wine collecting strategies, and learning more about wine, please do subscribe to my channel. I've been collecting wine for more than 15 years and also have a level four diploma from the WSET. So I have both formal certification as well as substantial practical knowledge from the School of Hard Knocks. In my recent underrated collectible wine video, I recommended dry ferment. And so my next wine store recommendation is the Oddity, which is produced by Royal Tokai a well-known producer in Hungary. This wine is 100% ferment. It's a dry wine with abundant acidity. If you take advantage of the discount, this one can be had for as little as $16. I really appreciate the slogan for this wine, which is, quote, the familiar taste of something different. If you're looking for a food pairing for dry ferment, it goes extremely well with seafood, spicy foods, fried foods, or you can even just enjoy it on its own. While I was in the Bordeaux Isle, I also found two excellent vintages from Langua Barton. Langua Barton is a third growth in the 1855 classification of Bordeaux. It's based in Saint-Julien. These wines are made by the exact same winemaking team as second growth producer Lioville Barton. Like Lioville Barton, Langua Barton is known for making high quality wines that sell for reasonable prices. Both of these vintages were highly regarded by critics. The 2018 is probably a little bit more highly acclaimed, but it's also about $13 per bottle more expensive. The 2016 Langua Barton is 55% Cabernet Sauvignon, 37% Merlot, and 8% Cabernet Franc. The 2018 Langua Barton is 63% Cabernet Sauvignon, 28% Merlot, and 9% Cabernet Franc. Between the two, my preference is for the 2018 vintage, but certainly if you have no patience or if you want to save a little bit of money per bottle, then you definitely want to consider the 2016 as well. Inexpensive quality Pinot Noir can be very hard to come by, particularly in Burgundy. So I was very pleased to find the Edouard Delaunay Bourgogne Rouge September at my local wine store. Based in Nuit Saint Georges, Edouard Delaunay is a boutique negociant that was founded way back in 1893. This negociant was recently revived by the founder's great grandson. I found the 2019 September on shelves, but I've also enjoyed the 2020 vintage. Dominant descriptors included sweet red cherry, mixed spice, and hints of smoke. This wine paired perfectly with grilled salmon. My next wine store recommendation is the 2016 Pio Cesare Barolo, which I was pleased to find for as little as $61.99 per bottle. This highly acclaimed wine is 100% Nebbiolo from the outstanding 2016 vintage. This is a historic producer that's currently run by the fifth generation. This wine is a blend of Nebbiolo from five different villages in Barolo. This is one that you can start enjoying now with a healthy decant and some food, but it will certainly benefit from some additional bottle age as well.